Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 3. Matatag Curriculum. For the competency, Learning Competency 2, the learners determine how forces can change the shape of objects, such as when they are pushed, pulled, stretched, bent, twisted, or squeezed. The learners will be able to predict the amount of force needed to move an object and change an object's shape. Describe what happens to an object when it is pushed, pulled, stretched, bent, twisted, and squeezed. Learning Competency 5 The learners participate in guided activities to demonstrate that pushes and pulls can be used to change the speed and direction of an object, including making it go faster, turn it to a different direction, slow it down, and stop it. Learning Competency 6, the learners demonstrate through guided activities that pushes and pulls can be used to change the speed and direction of an object. The learners will be able to describe the effects of pushes and pulls applied to objects at rest or in motion, describe the effects of varying the force applied to objects. For the content, what can forces do? Or the effects of forces. Integration, safety. When pushing or pulling, one must be aware of the direction of force and movement of the object. Responsibility. Students understand their responsibilities at home and school. For day one. For the review, you will choose one representative from your group to play in the Pinoy Henyo game. The representative will stand in front one at a time to guess the term from the previous lessons. This term will either be posted on the board or placed on your forehead. Your group members will assist by answering the representative's questions with yes or no until the term is correctly guessed. Here are the terms for review. We have force. It is a push or pull resulting from the interaction of two objects. Push, exerting force away from the source. Third is pull, exerting force towards the source. Next is magnet, attracts materials made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Next, metal. It is a solid material. For group 1, magnet. Group 2, force. Group 3, push. Group 4, metal. And group 5 is pull. Give 3 facts about magnets. Here are the answers. Magnets can pull things made of iron, nickel, or cobalt. Every magnet has two ends, called the North Pole and South Pole. Number three, magnets have an invisible force called a magnetic field that can push or pull objects. What can forces do? Let's study the concept map to summarize the initial discussion on what forces can do. Here are the effects of forces on an object. First, move an object at rest. Next, stop a moving object. Change the speed and direction of a moving object. Change the size or shape of an object. It can be done by stretching, bending, twisting, or squeezing. When a force is applied to an object, many things can happen. Force can move an object at rest. Example, kicking a ball on the ground. Next, force can stop a moving object. Example, catching a ball passed to you by a friend. Third, force can change the speed and direction of a moving object. 
Example, receiving a volleyball. Fourth, force can change the size of an object. Example, stretching a rubber band or a spring. Fifth, force can change the shape of an object. Example, squeezing a play dough or a calamansi. For day two, activity number one, forces can cause change. Objectives, at the end of the activity, the learners are expected to predict the amount of force needed to move an object and change an object's shape and b describe what happens to an object when it is pushed pulled stretched bent twisted and squeezed materials needed we have chair clay door paper pen rubber bond shelf or a heavy furniture and worksheet Instructions, work by pair or in triads. Predict how much force, a small, medium, or big force is needed to move the rigid objects and to change the shape of the soft objects. Write your predictions in the table below. A. Can I move it? Here are the rigid objects. Chair, door, and shelf. Write your predictions as well as your observations. Here are the possible answers. For the predictions for chair, I can move the chair with a medium force. Observation, the chair required a medium force to move. It wasn't too heavy to push, but it did take some effort to slide it across the floor. Next is door. I can move the door with a medium push. The door required a medium force to move. It was quite heavy. For the shelf, I can push the shelf with a big force. The shelf required a big force to move, especially if it was secured to the wall. If it was just a freestanding shelf, it might still need a big push to shift. For soft objects, can I change it? We have paper, clay, and rubber band. Write your predictions as well as your observations. Here are the answers. For the paper, I can change the shape of the paper by crumpling it, a small force. It was easy to change its shape with just a light push or scrunch. For the clay, I can change the shape of the clay by rolling, bending, and twisting it with medium force. It was easy to mold, but a little more force was needed to create significant changes in its form. Next is rubber band. I can change the rubber band's shape by stretching it with a medium force. It was easy to pull and change its shape and it snapped back into place when released. Answer the following questions. Which object required a bigger force to move? Why? You're right, the shelf required a bigger force to move because it's heavy. How did you distinguish your force as small, medium, or large? Very good. I distinguish the small, medium, and big forces by doing many trials and varying my force. Applying the big force is tiring depending on whether the object is heavy. For day 3, Forces Demonstration At the end of the activity, the learners are expected to predict how things around them move, describe the effects of forces applied to objects at rest or in motion. Materials needed, 
We have ball, demonstration table, modeling clay, pen, and worksheet. Instructions, observe carefully what happens to the object pushed or pulled in your teacher's demonstration. Complete the cause and effect organizer by writing what happens to the object in the demonstration and the action that caused the effect. Answer the process questions on the next page. Demo 1. Putting something to block a moving toy car on the table. Demo 2. Pressing clay with both hands on the table. Demo 3. Pushing a ball forward and backward with both hands on a table. Complete the table. Here are the possible answers. For the cause 1, a moving toy car hits a black. For the effect, the car stops moving because the black resists its motion. Second cause, pressing modeling clay with hands. Its effect, the clay changes shape and deforms. For the third one, pushing a ball on the table with hands. For the effect, the ball moves in the direction of the applied force. Answer the following questions. How did your observations compare to your initial predictions? The toy car stopped when it hit the block, just like I thought. The clay flattened more easily than I expected when I pressed it. The ball kept rolling longer than I thought before it stopped. Can you think of situations in your daily life where forces are at play? When I push my bike, it moves forward. When I open a door, I use force to move it. When I drop a pen, gravity pulls it down. For activity number three, forces in action. At the end of the activity, the learners are expected to describe the effects of pushes and pulls applied to objects at rest or in motion. Describe what happens to an object when it is pushed, pulled, stretched, bent, twisted, and squeezed. Materials needed, ball or toy car, clay or flour dough, ruler, and table or floor. Instructions, do this activity with your groupmates. Follow the procedures given below. Write your observations for each activity. Answer the process questions on the next page. Number one, put a ball on the table. Make sure it does not move. Apply a small force to roll the ball on the table. Next, push a ball slightly on the table or floor. Put something to block it 60 centimeters from where it started. Third, push a ball slightly on the table or floor. Using your other hand, push it in the opposite direction when it reaches 50 centimeters. Number four, constantly push a ball while it's moving on the table or floor. Here are the answers. For number one, the ball at rest is started to move. Number two, the ball bounces back after hitting the block or the ball may stop. Number three, the moving ball moves in the opposite direction. And number four, the ball moves faster compared to the ball in number one. Using clay, show how force can change the shape of an object. Number one, roll the clay on the table more than five times. Bend the clay. Stretch the clay without breaking it. Twist the clay. Squeeze the clay. What changes in the object? Put a check mark. 
on its size or shape. Let us now answer. For number one, size and shape. Number two, shape. Number three, size and shape. Number four, shape. And number five, shape. Answer the following questions. Give two real-life examples of situations when we need to change the shape of an object. Example number one, when making a dough for bread, we need and stretch it to shape it into a loaf. Example two, when using a screwdriver to twist and turn screws, we apply force to change the position and shape of the screw. Why do we need to understand how our pushing and pulling forces affect things around us? You're right. Understanding how pushing and pulling work helps us control the movement of objects around us and prevents accidents. Knowing how forces affect objects is important for tasks like building, driving, or playing sports where proper application of force is needed. For learners' takeaways, reflect on your learning using the 3 to one exit ticket. After completing the exit sleep, share your answers with your seatmate. Three things I've learned today, two things I want to learn more about, and one question I still have. For the assessment, true or false, carefully read the statements below. Write true if the statement is true, otherwise write false on the blank space before each number. Number one, a force is a push or pull applied to an object. 2. Blocking a rolling ball will make it move faster. 3. Pressing clay can cause its shape to change. 4. Stretching an object makes it long permanently. 5. When an object is pulled, it always moves towards the direction. Here are the correct answers. For number 1, true. 2. False 3. True 4. False and 5. False Matching type Study the pictures below. Match the given picture in column A to the change it illustrates due to the push or pull applied. Draw a line from the picture to the change illustrated in the picture. Here are the choices for column B. A. Change in shape. B. Moves an object that was not moving. C. Stops an object that was moving. And D. Changes the direction of a moving object. Here are the correct answers for number 1, letter B. Number 2, letter A. Number 3, letter C. And number 4 is letter D.